morning friends and happy Tuesday. I am out of the house this morning. It's about 9.20. I'm gonna go tanning. Uh, tanning doesn't open up until 10. So I have two errands that I have to run before I go over to the tanning place. Um, I have to drop off um, two more shirts and a pair of pants um, at the cleaners for Brian for the business trip that we're both going on next week. And then um, I have to pick up shirts that we have here. Um, of which we're going to use it as business trip next week as well <laughs> um, and then after that I'm gonna go run into Hobby Lobby really quick to pick up another little small package of beads I might pick up a couple of bags um, hopefully they have the, the same ones that I need uh, <clears throat> because London and I are working on a, uh, well, which she's already done her video, and honestly, I did my video yesterday, but it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to, so I'm going to redo the video and uh, share it with you guys, um, how we make our house beads, which you can buy the house beads, but London and I'm like, we can make these. <clears throat> so, I, um, she did her video which turned out which I haven't seen her video yet but her beads turned out great and then I did my video and the video wasn't so great and my beads weren't eh. I mean it looks okay it's not so bad sorry you guys were way over there um they look they look fine they're not bad but I'm mean, like hers turned out like wow good and because she knows how to do the little tassels on the end I culvers I don't know where how to do the tassels on the end so um I have to figure out how to learn to do the tassel. So um, I'm going over to her house tomorrow because we have a video we're gonna film there together. And then um, she's gonna show me how to do the little tassels on the end. So um, I'll still probably get my video done. I, I don't know, I might do the video tomorrow. I probably won't do it at all today because I wanna wait until after she shows me how to do the tassels. That way I can show you guys how to do the tassels as well. So I tried working on some tassels last night at home. Yeah, just didn't turn out quite the way that I wanted them to. So I don't know how you get the little knot around there, how you tie them and how they stay and eh. So I am gonna have her help me. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that is what my plan is for this morning is just do these few things. And yeah, check back in with you guys a little bit later. So I want to show you guys what a leg tanner is. This is a leg tanner. Basically what you do is you just sit here in this chair and you just put your legs inside of the leg tanner. A huge fan of like stickers all over your car because I think it's just tacky and I don't like it when people do stuff like that but anyway nonetheless to each their own I do have this cute little stick uh, Mickey sticker on my car and the mini sticker and then I just ordered this the other day and I put that on my car and I love it it is so freaking cute so I might want to get like another sticker just to put on the corner over there, but um, I don't know. I don't want to get like too stickered up because I don't really care for stickers on people's cars. But these ones are just like really like dainty and cute. They're not like tacky stickers. So I just think they're cute. And of course they say Disney. And that's what I love is Disney. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys a few things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby really, really quick. I picked up some yarn. I picked up like this light pink color of yarn because um, I'm gonna use it for my house beads. And then I picked up a gray color of yarn that I'm also going to use for the house beads. I picked up another little um, packet of the wood beads. There's 12 inside of here. This was $1.99. So I picked up one more of those. So now I have like a four total um, for some house beads. And then I picked up three um, little ears of the lamb ears, um, which I absolutely love these things. They're so pretty. And then I picked up two of the, like, um, oh my gosh, what is it? Lilacs or whatever, or whatever the other stuff is called. I can't remember. I have it on the top of my tongue, but I can't remember. But anyway, I picked up two of those little stalks, um, cause I'm going to put them like together like so. 
And then I'm gonna actually put them inside of this little vase that I got there too. This was $19.99 with 50% off, so I got it for $10. So basically what I have to do is I just have to cut these stalks down and be able to stick them in there. And that's just gonna be more for like spring decor, um, stuff to sit around because well, next week, since Brian and I are going to be gone next week, I won't be able to put my Easter stuff away. Um, but when we come back, like the, that weekend or whatever, and then that following Monday, it just seems like a long time. Um, I'll start putting some of my Easter stuff away, but leaving spring stuff out. Um, and then I'll put this stuff out for like spring decor. I mean, I'll work on it now, but it's just spring decor. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I've also been working on all of my other links and stuff too. So things that I've purchased around my house through Amazon or Target or whatever, where else? Target, Amazon. I think those are the two right now. Um, I have links for all that stuff below. So anything that I purchase on Amazon, I'll always have a link to it below. Anything from Target, it's an affiliate link, so you guys can click on the Target affiliate link in the description box below and then go find, you know, whatever you need to find through my affiliate, for, through my link. Um, I haven't got Hobby Lobby on there yet. I'm working on that. I'm also working on an Old Navy affiliate link. Um, I haven't got that one yet either, but I'm working on that. So, um, with that being said, some of those things that I've showed you guys like throughout my house, like that tin little tiered tray thing right there, um, you can find that on the affiliate link, which is all in the description box below. So now I'm going to clean up a little bit, put some dishes away and make up my bed since I haven't done that this morning. And then, um, yeah, kind of get started with my day. I had some like work to do with YouTube and stuff. So kind of put me behind a little bit. So now I'm home. I'm going to get that stuff done. Alrighty, so I want to show you guys a new shirt that I got from Etsy. This is from the Lost Bros account. Um, I'm not sure if they're on Etsy. I can't remember. I didn't get this from Etsy. I ordered off of a Facebook or an Instagram page. But anyway, they're called Lost Boys. Um, they're, I love some of their t-shirts that they have. And then this one, obviously, for obvious reasons, caught my eye. Uh, because I love their Wonderland, you know, logo here. It is so cute. If I was to ever have another logo, this is what my logo would be. Um, well, it would look like. Very similar to it. Obviously, I can't steal their logo. But, um, hello, love it. <laughs> this would be, like, the best logo for me. But anyway, just as greetings from Wonderland. And I love that it's on this blue. I love how everything just kind of pops on this blue. And then this is the cute little um, postcard that came with it and I think I'm gonna frame it and put it in here because it's just so cute and just says greetings from Wonderland love that so perfect and it's like so fitting for me so when I saw it I'm like oh my god had to have it and then um, earlier today somebody had asked me about these Disney t-shirts that I ordered from Etsy asking about the size about these like stretchy necks or whatever okay I absolutely love the stretchy neck material um, obviously it's not like Where's it going? It's, there we go, much better. It's kind of looking funky because I'm got my arm crossed. There we go, much better. Um, anyway, I love that it has like the um, the neck cut out of it because it just, it just doesn't seem so, you know, choking. Um, and I absolutely love the love across of it, across the top of it. Um, this, just like the um, Wonderland shirt, is a 2X. And I like to get everything a 2X because they tend to shrink a little bit in the um, washing machine. Even though I do hang them to dry, they still tend to shrink just a bit. And I don't like things to be like so uh, tight on me. I like things to be kind of like loose. And I've kind of got big Taha tatas, so um, I don't like things to be stretchy like across my tatas i like to have free room you know free room around everything um and i just so i'm gonna stand up and i'm gonna show you guys like what this looks like i threw my other shirt on the floor but let me show you guys what this looks like on so you guys can see i still have like leggings on but this is what the t-shirt like looks like on so it kind of like you know goes down here past my hoo-ha and then um which i I wouldn't wear it with like leggings like this out in public. Some people might. I just don't. But um, it does cover up my booty. Um, because I got like that bootylicious thing going on. Um, but it does cover up my booty a little bit, which I like. But again, I'll probably just wear this like with a pair of either black shorts or white shorts um in the summertime or while we're at Disney. But I do like it. It fits really, really good. So 
I'm happy with it. I think I have three of these. I have a gray one, a navy blue one, and then this um, like maroon one. So I know I'll be wearing these to our next Disney trip very, very soon. This, um, okay, I can't remember the, the name of the um, Etsy shop that I got this off of, but I will link it. I'll put it right here um, when I edit this video. Okay, um, another thing I was digging through because we're about ready to start packing for our week next week for Brian's business trip in Huntsville. We are leaving Sunday morning for my mom's house in Tennessee. We're going to be spending Easter with them. But I've actually been pulling out some of our, uh, you know, clothing and bags and stuff. And when I came across um, one of the bags that I was going to be using, I came across this um, Wallaroo backpack that I purchased... Oh, back in 2016, I think. And it's just a really nice backpack that I actually used at Disney. Um, it's got so many nice little pockets on it. It's got front pockets um, and side pockets that are really, really deep. It's got a really nice um, inside like pocket right here. Um, pockets inside there to be able to carry water bottles. And we have our um, rain gear in here for Disney when we were there. And then it has like... Um, extra stuff in here. Oh, look at my food and wine um, thingy for food and wine festival. Um, anyway, so it's got like a nice little like mesh pockets on the side and right here in the front. And then I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's for wet stuff. So that's nice. Um, but anyway, I, um, I came across this bag and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about this tote bag. Um, and as you guys can see, I still have my little Disney stuff on the back of it. Um, I don't know. I might use this when we go back um, for our trip because it just kind of holds everything. Like water, my purse, my wallet, my camera, batteries. I'm not like a big fan of backpacks because anytime I needed my camera, I had to like quickly turn around and grab it. Um, but I don't know. It was a nice, comfortable backpack. Brian you wore it sometimes too, so... Um, if you guys are interested in this Wallaroo backpack, I'll leave a link to this below. And it's really, really nice. I love it. I love how it feels. Um, I didn't, it didn't like get all yucky or dirty, but I, if it did, it probably wipes off really, really nicely. Um, like I said, on the inside, it's just super nice. Got a lot of places to store things. Oh, and even right here in front of this pocket, it's got like even another pocket like right here. Oh, let's see what's in there. I have, oh, that's my food and wine thing. That's nice. I still have my food and wine card in there so yeah so i mean if that's you know something that you guys would be interested in i'll leave the link below and you guys can go pick one up like i said i really like it and like i said i think i might use it this time around for disney since we're only going to be there for um two days so that'll be really nice to carry around with us but anyway so with that being said yeah i am uh gonna wash this wonderland shirt because i just came in yesterday so i'm gonna wash that and then um, find a place for that right now. And that's it. That is what I'm going to be doing. I'm waiting for another order to come in from Amazon, um, which is my two-tiered um, tin tray that I have. I'm going to put that in my bathroom. Um, as soon as that comes in, I will show it to you guys. Um, and if it comes in after I end the vlog, then I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. But I did leave a link for it below in the description box. So And it just says like two-tiered um, like tin tray or something like that. So if you guys want to know what it is or see it or purchase it yourself, it's in the um, description box below so yeah all right time to start cleaning up again all righty so it came in i'm very very excited i just opened it up it's i mean i just opened it up out of the other box not out of this box but this is the one that i got right here so obviously it's it comes flat so obviously you have to put it together so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do but i also wanted to show you guys that i actually started on this um island over here with the color under seas and yes i'm going to take the doors off so i can get on the frame a little bit better i actually just kind of wanted to throw a coat on here just to see what the color is going to look like so that is what i did and i'm liking it so far um obviously it's just one small light coat obviously i'm gonna have to work on it some more um, but i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that i did do you know um, put it on there just to see what it was going to look like and it's going to look awesome especially once I get it like roughed up and scuffed so then it's going to look like really old and rustic so which I really really like so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like put together 
All right, so there was a little bit of assembly required, but that is what it looks like. And so this is gonna go in my bathroom. So let me go see what it's gonna look like in there. I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I'm gonna put on it. Oh, I'm so excited, I absolutely love it. Alrighty, so this is what I'm actually trying to do. I'm gonna try to put all of this stuff or some of this stuff, what we're mainly using on top of this tray. And then I'm going to, um, hopefully it's gonna work. I absolutely, I think it's going to. Uh, I know some of my like taller stuff may not work too well in here, but um, let's give it a try and see if it'll work. So that worked perfectly for what I needed it to work for. So I eliminated the round little basket and I put all of the stuff on this and I like it. I'm not sure if Brian will, but oh well. This is all of the stuff that we use pretty much on a daily basis. Um, you know, face wash stuff, lotion, lotion, hair products, deodorant and hair products and more facial stuff down here. So I think it's gonna work out really, really good. I like it. I like it. Yay. So if you guys are interested in that tiered tray or tiered, it's called like a cupcake server, I think. Anyway, I will link it in the description box below and you guys can go grab your own. It's really cute. Obviously it's very versatile. You can use it for anything. Um, like I said, I think on there it had cupcake tiered tray or two tier, I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, I think it's great. And I'm very excited to use it in the bathroom. Obviously something different because I've had that round thing in there for a while. Um, we'll just have to get used to having to like, you know, bend through things and see if we can fit. But you know, that's uh, really nice. I don't know if a Kleenex box will fit on, if I put things on the bottom of it. Let's see. Um, no, but we have a Kleenex box inside the bathroom right there by the toilet or whatever. So I don't know, I like it. I'm very happy about it. Yay! So I'm gonna hopefully get this bathroom painted too um, in the next month or two. Hopefully in May, like I said before, I'm gonna get that painted um, and uh, lightened up. Possibly this room too. We're not sure yet, um, but yes, that's it. So that's it for today. I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me a little bit today. If you did, give this a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow on Angie in Wonderland. I'm gonna be with London tomorrow. We're gonna go work on a video tomorrow and have some lunch. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.